Now, you can repeat something any number of times with a star or a plus, but what if you want to do a specific number of times? For instance, I want to match all four digit years. I could just say grep backslash d backslash d backslash d backslash d and that works but it's annoying instead you can use curly braces grep backslash d curly brace 4 will have the same effect let's suppose I want to see a quick list of all of the function definitions in a file organized by their class that would be easy if I could search for any line that matched either def or class and, like in most programming languages, this is the pipe key. So if I say grep def pipe, which is the or class, and I go into the test slash test controller file, then you can see all of the function definitions organized by their class. But you'll notice or applied to the whole regular expression. What if I only wanted to apply the OR to part of the regular expression? I could still use an OR, but I would have to repeat myself. For instance, suppose I want to find all IF statements that use an IN or a NOT. I could do one with grep IF dot star IN and the other with grep IF dot star NOT, but how could I do both? We can use parentheses to create a group and things like or will only apply within that group. So grep if dot star followed by in or not will have the desired effect. And yet again, I want to caution you about escaping. Suppose I want to search for all functions that don't take any arguments. I can't just type grep open parenthesis close parenthesis because that's an empty group. I need to escape it. So in this case, I'll say grep backslash open parenthesis backslash close parenthesis, and that'll have the desired effect. And another reminder, if you didn't change grep's regular expression syntax from basic to Perl style, then what I told you will be backwards. Most of the special characters that I've told you about so far will need to be escaped to get their special meaning rather than their literal meaning. Now, you may have noticed that a lot of the regular expressions I've done so far were sloppy in that they returned a lot of matches in the middle of a word. For instance, if we grep def to fi try to find function definitions, we'll get some calls to set default as well. We could put a space before and after, but that's sloppy as well. I could miss a def that wasn't indented, like this one. In general, figuring out when something is at the start of the word is a hard problem because there's a lot of different punctuation marks that can indicate the start of a word. Thankfully, regular expression engines have the backslash b character, which matches the boundary between a word character and a non-word character. Backslash b is zero width, meaning that def slash b will match def. So for that example, we could say grep backslash b def backslash b and it'll only get the definitions. The backslash b doesn't take up any space, so even though there's nothing before this def, it still matches. What if we want to search for all lines with repeated words? I can't just say, for instance, def dot star def, because I don't just want that particular repeated word. I want all repeated words. Thankfully, whenever you make a group for something by using parentheses, you can refer to whatever was matched inside of those parentheses using a group reference. Group references are just increasing numbers after a backslash. So if I have two groups, I can use backslash 1 to refer to the first, and backslash 2 to refer to the second. To find all lines with repeated words, we could do something like grep backslash b word character plus backslash b dot star for anything in between them, then backslash b, backslash 1, backslash b, because I want the repeated word to be a full word as well. And you can see this pretty much works. It has b, which is repeated. It has is, which is repeated. It has in, which is repeated, etc.